Welcome back friends, Mark Piotr here. I'm going to talk about the movie a little bit more. That's what I've been spending most of my time doing for about the last six or eight weeks now. I'm working on a movie called Intensity. It's going to be kind of a psychological story with uh, a murder involved and a little bit of mystery. And uh, the movie's going to take a long time to make. So I'm just announcing right now that we are not near completion yet. Let me show you my to-do list uh, going on. I've got a, a list of 29 scenes that I would like to have in the movie. And 11 of them are recorded, filmed, and almost ready to go. Uh, but that still leaves the majority left over. And now I'm going to share with you some clips of uh, scenes that are pretty much ready to go, uh, except for the music, of course. And I'm going to show you the, the clips as they are uh, in their unfinished form uh, to make it a little more interesting for the behind the scenes, you know, attitude here. Let's start with the first part of the movie where the main character is talking to a therapist and uh, he's got some problems he needs to share. got real bad when I went through the tunnel. It only takes 15 minutes to get through the tunnel, but something was different. I was more aware of time, moving slower. It looked like no one had been there in years. On a table, I found an antique music box and a note from Johnny. It just said, gone to find the answer from this music box, J. For this next section, I would like to thank the two actors Stephen Birch and his wife Sarah Birch for playing the roles of the two Canadian detectives in the story, Chuck Andrews and Lowell Spiker, who are investigating the missing persons report. Must you always do that? Do what? That. Slam the door. You can't just close it. You always slam it. Give me a heart attack. Here, I got something for you. I'm just really excited about this case. The, the missing person? Have you read this guy's story? They say he went up to the abandoned cabin up Highway 61. That place is famous. <laughs> Gosh, listen to you. That place is famous. That place should be condemned. Another actor in the film is this young man here in the center. Wonderful, nice young man. He's going to play the part of a not-so-nice guy that does bad things to the other two characters in the story. And this actor's name is Nick Fair. So let's watch a little excerpt from one of his scenes right now. You, me, Dave, what a team! Set me up, shot on goal, he scored! <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! You yes. and friend were on fire. We all were on fire. Yeah. yeah. But mostly me. <laughs> Dave. Dude. Mostly you. That's right. Well, I had a little fun shopping at thrift stores and secondhand stores to get a few items for the movie. And one of them is this lovely chess board. Uh, this reminds me of my childhood. Those really lightweight wooden pieces, probably made out of balsa wood. And um, I used to play chess when I was young, but I wasn't like super good at it, but I did have fun. I, I also got a pair of hockey skates and uh, hockey sticks. I also found this beautiful uh, music box. Now, I was hoping to get one of those wooden music boxes with a lid but they're too hard to find. In fact, I was lucky just to get anything that had a real wind-up, <laughs> you know, music that you could listen to. And so 
This is the one that I went for. Uh, it kind of reminds me of maybe somebody bought it as an angel to look over the cabin that might be having some evil spirits and this will help soothe the evil spirits. <laughs> In the movie you will also see this can of Hormel chili which I think is going to be a fun moment where uh, the main character is complaining about his face page and how and now for those of you who have been hoping that there's going to be some blood in this movie well you're going to get your wish i bought a half gallon of blood <laughs> fake blood obviously yeah they actually sell this stuff by the gallon can you believe it anyway this is a lot of fun um and we got to murder somebody in the film and uh, have a little bit of blood. So that was a good moment. And now I need to say thank you to Chuck Linton, uh, the owner and my boss at Linton Milano Music for agreeing to be in the film. You already saw him in the scene with Dave Benatar. And this is Chuck right here acting with me. Uh, he is going to be one of the important characters of the story. So let's have a scene with him right now. Check this out, of course, yeah. Take a look around. I mean, cat. You got the cat. Wow. You got a hallway here. Um, right. Oh, nice kitchen. This is where I like to do all my cooking. This is the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yes. I remember you like to cook. That's right, that's right. Yeah, what do you got here? Oh, wait, no, that's just a storage closet. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, nothing to see in there. All right. Yeah. Well, this is great. Yeah, I'm impressed. Well, thanks again for hanging in there with me. Uh, the movie intensity may be a long time coming, uh, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And to my few five or six fans out there who are waiting for this movie, I hope you can hang in there with me and, uh, and enjoy the ride. And so that's all for today. And I hope you stay tuned for more of Intensity coming soon.